Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. This is too cute to pass up. You know how much I like working with the TTGO T display. Well, this is the LilyGo T display e paper. Let's see how to make it work. Make sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I show you how to connect an SD card reader to the T display e paper. The T display e paper is the same form factor and pinout as the original T display. But there's an important difference. The T display e paper uses this TU to T USB to TTL dongle for uploading programs to the board. Make sure to get one of these when you get the T display e paper. The TU to T has a USB C female connector that goes to your PC. You need this CH340K driver installed on your computer. Let's prepare the Arduino IDE to work with the T-Display ePaper. Of course, you want this Espressif URL in File Preferences Additional Board Manager URLs. And in Tools Board Manager, you want the ESP32 support installed. We'll be working with the LilyGo T5 ePaper series library on GitHub. But actually, when you scroll down through the README, you see they want you to use the Lewis He fork of the GX EPD library. I tried installing the LilyGo T5 ePaper series library as a zip library or tried to copy the folder into libraries and I got an error. So use the Lewis He GX EPD library. Let's download the zip of the library. In Sketch, Manage Libraries, import that zip that we just downloaded. This library depends on these other libraries. The Adafruit NeoPixel. Oh yeah, the T-Display ePaper has an RGB LED on the back. You probably already have Adafruit graphics installed, but I'm just mentioning it just in case. In any of these examples, make sure to uncomment the definition for LilyGo EPD Display 102. Oops. It's interesting, I get this error from boards.h saying board not selected. We see the LilyGo EPD Display 102 is uncommented, and the logic in the example sketch seems like that should stick. When I search in boards.h for LilyGo EPD Display 102, it's not found. The second definition from the bottom is LilyGo EPD Display, and the display pins seem correct. So I'm going to tack this underbar 102 on the end of this line here. I'll post an issue on the repository. And that was line 213 in the boards.h file. Now you can see the upload has succeeded. This GX EPD example sketch is what the T Display e paper ships with. I see the GX EPD example sketch has provisions for reading an SD card and detecting a list of Wi Fi access points. The Wi Fi list is echoed out to a serial monitor, but there's no SD card reader attached to the T-Display ePaper, so anything related to the SD reader is skipped when running on the ePaper. Now, this SD example sketch from the LilyGo T5 ePaper series library looks interesting. It will read bitmap files from an attached SD card and display them on the ePaper screen. Now, the adventure begins. As I mentioned previously, boards.h does not have any pins defined for the SD card reader in the definition for LilyGo EPD Display 102. All the T5 ePaper definitions have SD card pins defined, but the T Display ePaper doesn't seem to have a pin 14. The LilyGo TTGo T Display Library has SD card examples using pins 25, 26, 27, 
and 33 on the T-Display. So it looks like we need to do a little mashing up here. Let's wire the SD card reader to the T-Display e-paper. The markings on the e-paper board are a bit difficult to make out. The bottom pin on the right side of the T-Display is the 5 volt pin. Let's hook that to VCC on the SD reader. The next pin up on the T-Display is ground. Connect that to ground on the SD reader. Pin 27 is next on the T-Display. This goes to MISO on the SD reader. Pin 26 goes to MOSI on the SD reader. Next, pin 25 to SCK pin on the SD reader. Finally, pin 33 on the T-Display to the CS pin on the SD reader. Now, let's edit the sketch. Look for the links in the description below to get the code. At the top, we change the board definition from LilyGo T5V102 to the LilyGo EPD Display 102. I decided against editing the boards.h file. Instead, I'm going to define the SD card reader functionality in the SD example sketch itself. Here, we define the SPI pins. SD card CS is pin 33. SD card MOSI is pin 26, SD card MISO is pin 27, and SD card SCLK pin is pin 25. We also need to define has SD card. The example sketch includes three bitmaps that you must copy to an SD card. The sketch itself actually has draw bitmap commands to display four bitmaps. So I made a fourth bitmap for Shotoku Tech, and I also rotated the good display bitmap 180 degrees to keep things in line. I looked through the rest of the code, and fingers crossed, it looks like this will work. Let's upload this and see. Awesome. That's cool. Keep in mind, the T-Display e-paper shares the same form factor with the original TTGO T-Display. So the wiring and pin assignments should work with the original T-Display as well. Wow, that was fun. I hope you learned something from this, and maybe you'll want to check out the T-Display e-paper for yourself. Make sure to leave your questions and ideas in the comments below. Give this video a like, and before you go on to watch more of my TTGO T-Display videos, make sure to click on subscribe. Thank you very much.